Hey everybody, it's your radio pal Wes Nesman. Sorry, I'm I'm barely awake. It's 5 a.m. I've been up since 3 a.m. trying to sort through stuff from last night's ZZ Top Fiasco. Here's the situation. If you've never dislocated your shoulder, your opinion means zero. If you didn't buy a ticket, your opinion means zero. Heck, if you are not a member of ZZ Top, your opinion means zero. I say this to all the ass bags out there cussing this band because their 66-year-old bass player, who's not been in the best of health for decades, fell and dislocated his shoulder and couldn't put on a show. Now, I am sure at some point they discussed what could happen. Now, I can tell you that there has been a precedent set that if a band comes out and performs about three songs, it's considered a concert. I guarantee you that was discussed. There's also the possibility that Billy could have got a roadie to play some bass. You'd have heard two or three ZZ Top songs, a blues jam, and that would have been the show. But all parties involved, no doubt, looked at the situation and said, no, these people said we want to see ZZ Top. They paid for Billy, Dusty, and Frank. And since we can't bring that to them, we're going to reschedule. Now, I also understand when you first hear this announcement, there is a tendency to be a boo bird. You're just going to go, oh. But if you're one of those people who continue to boo and gripe about it today on Facebook, piss off. Don't want you at any of our shows. Go back to your miserable, awful little life and let the rest of us have some fun. I promise you, if this was your 66-year-old grandpa that took a fall, you'd be on Facebook begging for prayers. I promise that if you dislocated your shoulder, you'd be calling into work asking your boss for the day off. Now, I don't know how severe it is. He may be able to get up and play tonight. But when you get a fresh injury like this, it is very, very important that you don't get up and try to walk it off. You could be doing serious nerve damage, especially for a man his age. And I hate to keep bringing that up, but it is a big factor here. Will ZZ Top come back? They said they will, and actually it's pretty plausible. They live in Texas. They have three of their own buses. They get on a bus. They come back to town. No big deal. So I'm sorry this concert canceling or postponing was not about you. I know you got a babysitter, and I know the bartenders there, they didn't get their tips. There's a lot of people who didn't end up on this good side of this thing. But people get hurt. We patch them up. We move forward, and hopefully we will rock on again sometime with ZZ Top. And as for the rest of you guys that are understanding and cool about this kind of thing, you guys be awesome to each other.